This is the Elegoo Jupiter, and it's an absolute monster of a resin printer. Everything on this machine has been supersized. Here's a normal FDM machine lead screw next to the Jupiter Z-axis lead screw. And here's an Ender 3 build plate next to the massive Jupiter build plate. This build plate is so big they had to put two handles on it. Even the on-off switch is comically large. This machine is perfect for printing cosplay masks. Maybe not a full-size helmet, but the sort of face-only style mask fits perfectly on this build plate. So I reached out to Witch Forest on my mini factory, and he kindly supplied some really cool files to test. First is this animal skull mask. Although this mask was calculated to take 800 milliliters of resin, the last quarter of my one liter bottle ended up at the front edge of my vat since I didn't properly level the machine. Luckily there are some adjustment feet on this machine and leveling only took a few minutes. One thing this printer has is an auto-fed resin vat. Using these special caps, the resin is gravity fed into the vat to make sure you can finish a print should it exceed the vat's fill limit of 2 liters. The print fail on this mask looks kind of organic so I'm going to push on with this print. After cleaning and curing, I gave the mask a quick spray with primer. A coat of brown acrylic paint followed by a good wipe down gave me the off-white bone color I was looking for, giving the cracks and crevices some more contrast. To cut down some of the red hue the mask had acquired, I did the same once again with black. And of course, I had to add some spattered red paint. And here's the final result. This video is brought to you by Elegoo. Whether you're interested in FDM or resin printing, Elegoo has a machine for you. From budget and beginner-friendly machines to high-end machines with professional results and everything in between. Head over to the link in the description and help support the people who support this channel. Now, onto the horns. After printing, cleaning, curing, and priming, I gave these a solid coat of black before doing a little bit of weathering.
I glued these on using super glue and added some attachment points for an elastic headband. This thing turned out awesome, and I wouldn't have dreamed of doing this on any of my other resin printers. Next, I wanted to really put this machine's resolution to the test. For that, we'll use this StarCraft Space Marine model from Trifin Studio on my mini factory. Here's the Space Marine. The detail on this model is insane. I still have some sanding and primer to do on this model, but I think it turned out great. I hope this gave you some insight into the capabilities of this machine and whether or not it would fit into your workflow. I'll leave a link in the description where you can check out the full specs of this printer. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing.